So you might have noticed the car starting to vibrate when you press the brake pedal. Now, it's not a feature that's been built in to give you a nice relaxing foot massage. It indicates that there's something going on within the braking system. So in this video, we're just going to look at some of the typical causes for vibration when you brake. Now, I have to say right from the outset that some cars with ABS systems will vibrate the brake pedal automatically when the ABS system cuts in, just to tell you that the ABS is working and the car is maybe not stopping as sharply as you expected it to. But in this video, we're just going to focus on the problems that cause abnormal vibrations from the braking system of your car and just help you to know really where to look and how serious a problem it is, whether you need to get that fixed immediately or whether it's something you can live with over a longer period of time. So the most common fault within a braking system is the brake discs or brake rotors. So depending on where you live, you're going to have different names for it. But the big metal disc that the pads clamp hold of is doing a lot of work within the brake system. And that is metal. It's subject to expansion and contraction of heat. It's exposed to rust. You've probably noticed that when you've left your car for a few days, and particularly when it's been raining or a damp environment, a layer of rust is starting to form on that brake rotor or that brake disc. And eventually that surface of the brake disc will not be perfectly smooth and perfectly flat. So you can imagine now, as that is slightly rippled, as you apply the pads, it's going to cause a vibration just because the surface that you're braking against is no longer flat. So in most cases, this is not a significant issue, but I would urge everyone with some kind of problem with the braking system to have it checked out. So subtle vibrations caused by uneven brake discs or brake rotors is probably more of an annoyance than a serious safety issue. But again, there are degrees. This problem can get worse and worse and worse until it is actually affecting the car's ability to stop and the braking performance has been seriously impacted by the warped rotors. So other issues that can happen with the rotors is they can actually crack. They can start to degrade or even work loose. So if they're not mounted correctly, and these really can add up to quite serious problems when it comes to braking performance. So the car will not stop as sharply as possible, just really because the pads are effectively bouncing over the surface or the car is having to pulse the brakes to make allowances for the differences in the depth of the metal that the pads are rubbing against. So the other aspect that's fairly obvious is the brake pads themselves that contact the rotors or the brake discs. So if the pads are of inferior quality and they've become unevenly worn, that can actually exacerbate a problem with the brake discs or rotors themselves becoming unevenly worn. And that can be another source of vibration when you press the brake pedal. So these these vibrations you get that are due to defects in the surface of the brake rotors or discs or the pads generally build up over time. It's not something that suddenly happens. It's a problem that gets worse and worse as time progresses. So keep an eye on that. Keep an eye out for the feel of the brake pedal as you actually do these emergency stops and use the brakes in anger when you're driving around. So less likely problems, but they can't always be eliminated, is the, the calipers, the pistons that push the brake system together so it clamps the pads against the brake rotor. So if that has experienced some kind of mechanical defect, the most common thing is it starts to stick. So when you take your car in for a service, they will generally lubricate the moving parts of the braking system just to prevent it from sticking and binding on. In most cases, if it's the brake caliper itself, that will generally generally result in the brakes either binding on or not releasing straight away. It's not always the cause of vibration within the braking system. You've got the brake booster or the brake servo as well. If that is defective in some way, it can cause the brakes to pulse or you'll have abnormal pressure going to the pads and that can just reduce the braking effectiveness. And you may even notice that as vibration as the system is continually trying to adjust itself in order to stop the car. So other problems when the car brakes that causes vibrations may not actually be the brakes at all. So it could be the tires, it could be the rims that have become damaged. It could be the suspension system on the car has started to degrade. So it's just important to note that is this happening when the car slows up? So if you ease off, maybe in a slightly lower gear than you would otherwise, and the car is coming to a stop, is that causing the vibration that you're experiencing when you apply the brake? Because that can sometimes indicate the problem is not with the brakes, it's with the suspension system or the tires or there's some other defect within the car that's outside of the braking system. So hopefully this video has just very quickly gone over the typical 
culprits of vibration when you brake. With your brakes, don't take chances. If there is an issue there, if it's doing something that it wasn't doing a week ago, get it checked out. The brakes are an important safety feature. They're not something that you can really take chances with. So do get it checked out. There are some vibration issues that you can live with. I've had garages tell me as well that it's not a serious problem. The brakes work as effectively as they're intended to. It's just an annoyance and just ask me if I wanted to live with it. In my personal experience, I don't like that sort of thing. I like the car to actually work consistently and I don't want to be worrying about the possibility of a problem. So I would tend to wear on the side of caution and get that fixed. But if times are hard or you're planning to get rid of the car soon anyway, it's probably a decision that you can live with, with just having the brakes doing this vibration as you actually apply them. But again, be particularly sensitive for changes in that. If it's deteriorating or getting worse, go back to the garage, the mechanic, get the brakes checked and looked over just to make sure that the car is stopping safely. So I hope this video has been useful to you. Please boot that like button because that really does help us to get out there. And I've lined this video up for you. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so because we'd love you to stay tuned. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in this next video.